Hey guys, it's Sean. I'm gonna show you how to deal with flattening transparencies in InDesign. Uh, we were working through our short doc sort of tutorial series and we created this uh, shape here that's the custom callout shape um, and we applied a screen mode to it. Uh, to get there, we just went under window effects and we applied screen. This is effectively creating a transparency. Sometimes Illustrator and InDesign, both of them, don't do a good job at handling transparencies. And we need to make sure we know how to properly flatten these so that uh, our PDFs read this information less as transparent white and more as a custom set of colors and gradients that is making up this effect. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to go up to Edit, and we want to go to Transparency Blend Space. Now, if your document's output final sort of uh, format is going to be CMYK, because you're going to be printing it, make sure this is set to CMYK. If you're working in an RGB color space, make sure it's set to RGB. Then we want to come under Transparency Flattener Presets. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're using our high resolution preset, and we can hit OK. Now, under uh, the export settings for our PDF, what we want to do is we want to uh, ex uh, begin the export process. I'm going to call this transparent example, and I'm going to hit save. And now, in this dialog box, normally we're used to just using high quality print for most of our work. Um, what I actually want to do now is come down to this PDF X 1A 2001. This is just an older sort of preset uh, that PDFs tend to use, um, but it'll work in this case. Uh, make sure you have all of your settings um, formatted the way that you would need them to be formatted with marks and bleeds, using the document bleed settings. And then under advanced, this is the important place for us to be here. We want to make sure that our transparency flattener is set to high resolution. And uh, that is the last sort of... Um, uh, adjustment that we want to make in our PDF export panel. So we can go ahead and hit export now and wait for Acrobat to open our final document. So Acrobat has opened up our document and I'm just going to scroll down to that spread and you can see that it exported the callout with the proper transparency down here. If you guys are working on a project and you're wondering why your transparencies aren't communicating properly when you export it as a PDF, make sure you follow these guidelines and everything should turn out okay. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!